right, so Ascension probably dropped the biggest announcement, like in my opinion, I ever heard. Maybe besides the changes to up, uh, besides the changes to like talent rework, so you have to roll talents. This is huge, like especially not mid season, but at the start of the season, uh, when they have these announcements, it is so insane. And I'm gonna break it down this video. Uh, I don't know if I sound like it, but I'm very tired, but I really want to get this video out. So keep that in mind. I'll try my best. So update to the prestige of fortune. And I'm going to roll some footage in the background of me and my friend actually just trying to prestige today to speed run. And regarding the speed run, let me also say that you guys are very nice and actually responded to my vote I did. So this is the first time I did a poll. And I actually wanted to hear what your guys' opinion was and what you want to see next. And a funny thing is, be before yesterday, I don't think how to speed level was the highest uh, vote. I didn't take a picture of it. But after the announcement, the how to speed roll like skyrocketed that and it makes so much sense. So, uh, so and if how to speed level was not getting the most votes after this announcement, this would probably be the video I'm going to make. And it's the video I'm going to make after. Uh, this one because I just wanted to get my opinion out of it and too long didn't read. Yeah, speed leveling is going to be a thing now and you really want to be looking into that. Uh, but let me break this down. And while I'm talking over the uh, Discord announcement, uh, I'm going to roll a footage of me and a friend uh, trying to speed level uh, in the background. So you have something to watch. But besides that, I'm not going to show anything on the, the screen. So. This is uh, what they announced as a, a two updates coming to address some issues. And this is the first one. And I think the other one is more endgame focused. So a step in the right direction. You will now be getting increasing amount of scrolls of fortune for your specialization when you hit 60. This is huge. So if you prestige 10 times, you get 10 ability rerolls and free uh, talent rerolls. This is huge to try a new build. This is huge to feel like prestiging are worth it, even though if you hit nothing, you are still like working on progressing your character. How much is this worth your like investment and your progress and stuff? My very, very napkin math, are uh, this is equivalent to 4,000 marks. If you are finished uh, spending marks in a build and you're buying your rerolls for 3,000 marks, you're getting three total rerolls. So this is actually four. So in my opinion, each time you prestige, you are uh, getting 4,000 marks for free, for rerolls at least, each time you prestige in the future. And keep in mind, we are two months in now. This will be an investment for you to the future of like the whole of TBC. And also keep in mind that TBC will be to level to 70. Right now you can be level to 60 and you can uh, use uh, RAF uh, better than you can in TBC. And so right now is a very good time to invest in this and be ready to try a new build because each time you're ready to, oh, I want to try this build. If you have a good amount of prestiges on your back, you now have a very good like case to try the build. All right, so as they're writing, this opens up prestige's new way to progress without making it necessary. This is 100% true. It doesn't break if anybody has an endgame build it will make it more like easy to catch up to someone else and copy that build. But in my opinion, that is fine. If someone else wants to try a build, they shouldn't be like totally handicapped because they didn't play the build from day one, but they also shouldn't be like, be able to get to the exact same point. So it will make it much more easy to copy a cool build or fun build you see, hey, maybe in a Hatrix video, I don't know, uh, subscribe to see those. But it uh, will make it more easy to try builds you see in the raid and in the wild or on the internet and copy it because right now there's not much content of what builds are able to be played. And it's very hard because it's also very hard to test and try new builds right now because if you don't want to fall behind, you really need to spend your marks to your main build and you really can't spread your resources too much uh, because you need to put your marks in your main build. Or maybe you have a second like off spec you need to have. Maybe your main healer have a DPS off spec or the other way around. Maybe you're tanking. Maybe you have two different ver versions of your build, a single target focus and AOE focused, and you really don't want to miss like upgrades for that. Maybe for main raiding, something else. And it just let you experiment more. 
these scrolls of uh, fortune are for the specialization you're in. And this is, they even wrote this with a caps uh, to really incentivize this. It is not case of fortune. And this makes total sense, at least for me. And I also really understand why they highlighted it because the, the scenario, and it's a very nice budget from the devs. If they haven't seen this like oversight and just made a case of fortune, prestige with this change would be the by far number one way to get case of fortune and nothing else would be compatible. If you're able to level in like 20 to 30 minutes, it would make no sense to do other activities because prestige would just be the best way. And that would also means that you will feel like um, needed to uh, use uh, Alpha's experience to level and get your case of fortune. And I don't think case of fortune, like the ones you get for free, should be gated around anything besides the marks. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. And as they're saying with the release of season nine, prestige became a lot less beneficial to past seasons. I guess if you want to take those goggles on, you could see this as, whoa, well, we didn't see this coming, but now people are not buying our hour of experience. We need to change that. And that is a very, you, you could see it that way and it makes sense. They are needing to sell stuff to make the game run, uh, run uh, I guess. So not having people prestige and not having it uh, that lucrative, it's uh, bad for them. So yeah, I guess is one way to look at it, but it's also nice that they're seeing like prestige should also be a way to level and like do a spec. All right, another thing they mentioned and I am also agreeing with is that uh, they stated this is frustrating to continue to, if you're getting deep into end game that you feel like you're compelled to funnel all of your rockets into one specialization. I think that is basically still true unless you are at the 95, 90% way with the spec and you can justify to put more into it. But I still feel like you should, you're probably using your rockets for your main specialization. But besides that, if you're not kept with the marks on your main spec or on your like top three specs, you don't feel like you can spend your marks on any other things than those three specs. And that means you don't have any other uh, rerolls or case of fortune for your other specs. And it's very hard to try builds. If you saw my recent video with the Sunburst build, that build in the video, I could only like spend 10,000 uh, marks on it. And I couldn't justify to spend more. I didn't have more, but I also couldn't justify it if I didn't want to feel like I was wasting my marks for my main specs and I would not progress my like rating experience. So very uh, good view at it, I guess uh, I have the same. Does this totally solve it? I don't know. You still are probably going to spend your marks on your main spec, but if you get a good like off spec, you feel a like more fun. Um, yeah, you can spend your marks on the other one. Yeah. And uh, this statement uh, also I'm agreeing with, I can, uh, this statement I'm going to read. This was very frustrating for many prestigious because they would end up at max level and feel like they weren't far enough with their build to continue. Many people who wanted to prestige to f progress it felt simply it wasn't working because they had to commit going into the end game to build upon the spec. So I guess this, this was weird stated in my opinion, but to clarify this, if you prestige and you only hit like three to five Sphinx and you really want to try the build, you feel like, oh damn, I didn't hit enough to justify to keep at this spec. And I would prestige again to try it again. And you would basically feel like the prestige was like a bricked one. You didn't get anything from it. But now you will always like feel like, oh, well, the prestige didn't go well, but I got something out of it anyway for the rest of the season. And that is a very nice thing in my opinion. But yeah, also now it will be more like it will increase the chance substantially. Like when you prestige, you maybe are hitting like three to five things, but then at the 60, you will have a lot more like scrolls and chances to see if you hit that maybe five to eight, like very good stuff for your build. And that is more justifiable to now keep rolling at the build to try make it really work for like end game. And also in the last uh, part of the post, they stated that uh, do not sit on your scrolls in case of fortune for the end game update. I don't know what they mean by this, but I guess gonna take the words. It's just like when they changes how caches work for dailies, it wasn't retroactive. So you couldn't save your caches for the gear update and you got better gear, but that is uh, for the future, I guess. All right. So all of the other stuff from the post, like my take, I guess. Now this means that 
rolling in the city and the town is gonna be a very feels bad man because you're not getting the like almost 100 scrolls to reroll your spec when you buy a Tomo specialization this is in my opinion like an oversight because now I really don't think it's worth to buy a new Tomo specialization unless you really are low on specs and you really want to have a big arsenal of things you can play so in my opinion when you buy and use a new term of specialization it should really give those amount of uh, scrolls of uh, fortune from your current prestige level and of course it should not like increase your prestige level in my opinion uh, so yeah with all of this it's going to be so much more worth to try a new build and especially for me when i'm trying to like testing out new stuff and see what is possible and show you guys it's going to be so much easier for me to not like having to spend all my main resources to test and try and i'm no long i will no longer like feel bad to actually spend my spend my marks on my main build to progress it because i don't feel like oh maybe i should spend the marks on uh, another build but now i will have like a good like uh, amount of uh, like a kickstart for the new spec without spending too many marks and also gonna take up the calculator, the trusty, the napkin math. What are you getting from this? Uh, with the napkin math, I said that this was worth like 4,000 um, marks of ascension. In my opinion, for each time you prestige, so you get this each time for your build. In the case, uh, the amount of uh, scrolls of um, fortune. So if you time this with like, I think a decent amount of people right now, probably I would estimate this is like a guess out of my, but 25 times. So you get the equivalent of 100,000 marks, and this is even more uh, if you do the math otherwise, but this is a lot of rerolls uh, in, in worth of marks. Each time you prestige, you just get for free. This is very generous of the Ascension team to give us this, but it also makes sense because each case of fortune has a very low chance to hit something for your build. So it is also the value of cases of fortune and ro rolls, like scores of fortune are not that worth because the chances are so like broad, like either you get nothing or you get something really good often. Sometimes you just get a small upgrade. So if you really want to push this and like go for like 100 prestiges, really want to grind this, you are actually, I mean, the, the math are pretty simple. You get 400,000. So this is like almost half a million in rerolls worth it. So uh, what is this? It is, what did I say, 100, so uh, 300 talent rerolls. This is a lot of rerolls each time you try a build, like <laughs> a shit ton. I had a friend who recently spent, he tried the Voga build and he had a lot of marks because he didn't progress his main build anymore because it was finished basically. So he had uh, half a million marks he have saved up to try a new build. So he tried a Voga and I, this is not a case like every time you do this, but in this case it worked and he was still not that lucky. He went for the Voga build. He basically got everything. He missed like two big modifiers. But besides that, the build was basically like done. He could do 10 to 15 K DPS with a decent amount of gear from Mythic rating. So just to have that like possibility now, each time you prestige, when you have invested in prestiging, it is so huge. This will not be anything you can do in the start, but later on, just to keep trying a build and get like so many rerolls, it's gonna be the F word amazing. All right, so let me quickly run over a few stuff. So first of all, how could it affect the meta and how would it affect like good specs already in the game? I mean, this will not affect good specs. It will only like put more good specs into the game because people have more chances to try and test stuff, to try to roll a good build. This also means it's going to be more easy for the general player to get a competitive spec to get into raids and for you to get more people to have raids, um, to get into raids. Like if you're needing a healer for your raid or for your dungeon, it will be more easy for people to try out healer to have a healer spec with this change. So very good. I think it would be more easier for basically everything. Uh, so how would it affect the raiding scene? it would make it more easier for people to like swap to like a meta build because it there's no like that much downside but also think that is fine i still think people will prioritize uh, games uh, like uh, play style over spec and not over the meta i mean for the realm first rating i mean most likely people will just 
be have easier uh, access to swapping to a newly good discovered spec. But for the that one percent of the player base, I think that is not like anything that should be really considered. All right. And here on the screen now, I'm going to show something. I'm going to show the Tomo specialization. This was from my previous video regarding uh, alts. So Tomo specialization, when you unlock a new tome, you also gain the like ability to roll a whole spec. This is now actually very feels bad man to like do uh, because now you don't get the extra rerolls. And I think this is an oversight and I really hope that they would apply this new change to Tomo specialization because right now I just have to say it, it's not worth to get new tomes like either for gold, especially for DP, especially for Passar tomes. It is, I mean, if you need a new spec, if you don't have rolls to, uh, if you don't have room to roll a build or to have a spec to prestige to just uh, go zoom and speed leveling, you, you of course you need a spec, but uh, to try a spec or just to like do that, it is currently not worth uh, unless they apply this change to like rolling a spec in the city and you get the scrolls. Of course you shouldn't get the um, prestige level from unlocking a new spec, but I think you should still get the tomes from your current uh, prestige level. All right, so the recruiter friends, if you're not aware, there's basically like a free hour of experience that works from level one to 54. So if you have a good friend, a uh, good guild you're not raft with already, you should check auction house uh, and see if you can buy one for gold, trade one for bazaar tones, or I mean, you can buy one for um, DP. It is one of the best investment you can do in Ascension because it will last for every season forever from now on. So you will just get like the hour of experience uh, buff with your friend and it is so good as you saw in this clip me and my friend are recruiter friended so we will just get basically like a free hour every time we level together and yeah that is uh, it is something to consider now especially with this change even if you have some guildies you are playing with sometimes it can be very beneficial to also if you're just gonna focus on not rolling for spec but just like going to increase your prestige level all right uh, another thing potion of experience if you're maybe leveling with without potion of experience, now it's actually like a good time to just invest, like use a potion of experience for your level and just like use it as an investment in increasing your character, not for the build maybe, but just for like spending, I think it's 100 gold right now for potion experience, like spending the potion, maybe gain the gold back from the items you sell from the prestige and just like increase your uh, level in that way. Very good uh, investment in my opinion. All right, here on the screen now, uh, this will also be like more in depth in the uh, how to speed level or what I use. This is like a very quick, very quick uh, brief. Flame burst, very strong, insta flame blast, twisted mind to buff it, flame tongue to buff it, arcane up higher level, mm -hmm. seething flames, stormbringer, you can find in uh, Discord in the description below where you get them. Those are free, the other ones, anything that just like increased your spell power or does a damage proc on hit, those enchants are fine. This is just an example what you can be doing for a caster. And even if you're rolling for a melee build, you can still be like, you, you would still need to cut flame burst. So this is only if you're gonna like speed level. And if you don't have any of it, I mean, basically if you can just buy Twisted Mind Flame Burst, just buy those two and you're basically good to go with the two legendaries that are free. And if you have it, this is not a budget version, but if you have felon fused weapon, like a normal card, of course, and fan of knife, sinister strike and double down, you can also go get, look in the description. The, this is a very good um, version if you want to level with uh, agility gear, but at, in this version, you basically also use spell power gear. So yeah, uh, I guess. So it's not for, this is not focused on prestiging, this is focused on just for pure, what can you level fast with? All right, so what do all of this means, at least for me? Uh, yes, this is something I'm gonna do. The Just as you see in this clip, just gonna level for the sake of leveling to increase this number. So every time from now on and until TBC and like the rest of the season, I'm gonna get more and more scrolls to make my build stronger each time. I am also gonna do this by prestiging, like actually trying to roll a build. But if I have nothing else to do, like I have uh, half an hour where I just like, 
I can just take a, 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 make a quick speed run with my build uh, with my friend. Uh, then I'm gonna do that uh, to increase this prestige level four when I actually gonna like um, try a build out and I get these four four extra scrolls to t test for the rest of the yeah the game. Uh, so I guess this brings us to the conclusion. Uh, my conclusion for this change, I mean, of course, this is insane huge if you haven't already uh, got that from me. But uh, with this, I didn't see maybe an oversight as well, but I don't get why they doesn't give you the roles at level one. So you have more control over when you get them or maybe even spread them out doing your prestige. That could also work. But people are really wanting to target specific abilities so they can do the build because that is also like they even said that in the post that they want to make it feel more like impactful after your prestige if say you have a good like baseline for build and that is if you can roll for the talents you want to roll and not having the all of the talents at level 60 and this would also like accomplish the same thing you can just save the rerolls from level one and use them at 60 but at least give the option i feel it wouldn't be that strong and yeah level would take a bit slower but i mean then you should be leveling alone if you're gonna spend <laughs> 300 scrolls uh, while leveling so keep that in mind and yeah uh, and this if if this change not go through i'm gonna try to make the suggestion again on the suggestion uh, post on discord and if you are agreeing with this opinion uh, you can consider going and watch the suggestions but if not uh, it is fine uh, as it is right now. It is not the end of the world, but I hope this change will get through. All right, and that is it. Thanks a lot for watching and sticking to the end. The next video will most likely be about speed leveling unless something crazy comes up. I have a lot of videos planned, so when they do big announcements like that, this, I am gonna change the plans for the videos that will be prioritized like people are now really wanting and myself a speed leveling video and what I my opinions and what I have of uh, tips and tricks for this so uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss that speed leveling it's, it, it is going to be one of the best thing you can be doing uh, at infinite grinding at endgame now especially for trying new builds rolling builds uh, yeah just progressing and have a good like baseline for uh, the future of the season and if you stuck to the end as well consider subscribing now i'm gonna politely ask because we are very close to thousand subscribers and maybe you can hear hear it on my voice it is a very big goal for me and i could not imagine we are already came so close to it from starting this channel so it, it means a lot to me for each of one of you that have subscribed and also just like sticking to the end of the videos i really enjoy making them and i really have so many ideas and oh i, I can really see how there's so much possibilities of fun and insane stuff to do right now focusing on guides and stuff uh, like getting information out but also in the future i really want to do some content like just like entertainment and stuff and have so many crazy ideas right now it's not really feasible to do it because there's so much stuff i want to get out there but like in the future that's very good i promise it wouldn't be worth to subscribe for and also i'll also consider doing a giveaway for thousand subs uh, that is uh, uh, that uh, I'm gonna gonna find out uh, how uh, how I'm gonna do, but uh, that would also be a very good idea for subscribing. So that is uh, that is the pep talk for now, I guess. Uh, again, thanks a lot for watching, and see you in the next one.